This video will show how to install Codasys to use with Wago controllers. Codasys is a powerful industrial programming software where with Wago devices comes baked in with Ethernet IP, Modbus, Ethercat, OPC UA, and other protocols based on what model you have. It's also free to download and install, and for most cases, there's no additional licensing needed. The first thing I'll need to do is download the base installation of Codasys, the Wago device support package, as well as the latest firmware. To get to the download center, I'll open up a web browser and navigate to downloadcenter.wago.com. Once I'm at the download center, I can see different versions of Codasys. In this case, I'm just going to download the latest and greatest. That's going to be SP19 patch 2. Once I've selected that, I'm going to look at the dependencies as well as add the base installation of Codasys to my cart. Uh, other things I'll need is the device description for Wago controllers as well as the firmware for the device I'm using. One more thing I'll grab while I'm here is the Wago upload utility. This will let me update the firmware on my controller. Once I've selected those items, I can view them in my cart. Uh, here I'm signed in with a login. If I haven't already created a login, you'll need to create an account. When you create an account, it's important to select premium for your account type. This way you'll have access to the download center. Now that I have everything downloaded, I'm just going to go ahead and run the executable to install the base version of Codasys. Straightforward here, I'm just going to step through the installation process. To use Wago devices, next I'll need to install the Wago devices and libraries package. To do this, I'm going to use Codasys installer, change my installation, and I'm going to browse so I can install the device support package file. You can find that in the downloads that we grabbed earlier. Here I'm just going to click open and let the install complete. This package also comes with a lot of nice Wago libraries that let you use things like the power measurement modules, backnet functionality, and IoT libraries. Next, I'm going to update the firmware on the controller to the latest and greatest. Uh, in this case, it's firmware 26, so I'm just going to unzip that from the download that we grabbed. Next, I'm going to open up Wago Upload. This will allow me to do a couple things, including update the firmware on the device. Uh, you can either do it via Ethernet or the USB-C port on front of the controller. Once I type in my IP address, I can select the checkbox and click Next. From here, I'm going to navigate to that firmware file, which in this case is a .wup file. Once Wago upload is finished, I can open up the web browser and enter that IP address into the search bar. From here, it's going to open up the web-based management. Uh, I can type in my username and password and just confirm that that firmware update is accurate. Now that I have Codasys installed, the device support package installed, and the firmware updated, I can open up Codasys. From here, I can select New Project, Standard Project. Now I can select my Wago device from the drop-down. Here I'm just going to search for the touch panel model number that I have. With my project now open, I can double click the device on the left hand side of the device tree. That's going to open up the communication settings and I can enter the IP address of the device. After hitting enter, I should see the green light showing that I'm now connected to the device and ready to program. Now I can open up PLC PRG and just write a simple program to increment an integer as the PLC is running. Now to load the program to the PLC, I can go to the online tab, click login, and acknowledge that I'm downloading the new project. When the download finishes, I can see that the PLC is in stop mode. I can right click on the application and click start to run the program. Once running, I can see the variable incrementing and my project running. I'll leave a link to the download center in the description. Thanks for watching.